Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a butterfly using your own hair. Are you excited? The great news is that this technique is suitable not only for long hair, but also for medium length hair. So let's begin. I'm going to grab two thin strands of hair in front and tie them together at the back of my head. You can do it as high or as low as you wish, right where you want to create your butterfly. I'm going to use a tiny clear elastic band. If your hair is dark, it's better to use a black one. Next, I'm going to grab some hair that lies right under my elastic band and tie it together with the previous tiny ponytail. I'm going to use another elastic band, just like this. I'm going to pick a tiny strand of hair from the bottom part of my tiny ponytail and use it to create the left half of my butterfly. Just watch the steps. At first, I'm going to direct it under the left strand to create a small loop at the bottom. Next, I'm going to bring it through this loop, passing it underneath. I tighten it up and finally wrap it around the right strand, directing the end downward. You can secure this strand either with a bobby pin, I'm going to show you this technique later on, or with another elastic band. That's what I'm going to do at this point. Now I pick another thin strand of hair from my tiny ponytail and repeat the symmetric procedure. I bring it under the right strand to create a tiny loop, bring the end into this loop, fasten it underneath, wrap it around the left strand, directing the ends downwards. And finally merge it with the previous section using another small elastic band. That's the most secure way of attaching this hairstyle, but if you want a slightly more elegant look, you can remove the elastic bands and secure the two ends together using a single bobby pin. In any case, I recommend you to spray your hair with a generous amount of a hairspray. Share your creations on Instagram with the hashtag LilySmoonHair. Here I have also attached my glam time clip and hair extensions for extra length and volume. I also left a couple of strands of hair in front to frame my face. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I thank you very much for watching and I see you in my next video. Bye!